Hi viewers, this is Tahir Iqbal from Chemology YouTube channel. Uh, today I will uh, discuss some uh, basic analytical techniques uh, studied in the chemistry, analytical chemistry specifically. Uh, but uh, before going to uh, demonstrate practically uh, each and every uh, method, I will uh, first go through some basic definitions uh, of the analytical chemistry. Uh, first is analytical chemistry. Uh, it is basically the study and the use of some instruments uh, and methods to separate, identify, and quantify. To separate, identify, and quantify. So basically, uh, analytical chemistry uh, is the study of the methods, the use of the instruments uh, to separate something. Like we have a mixture. Uh, so the purpose of analytical chemistry is to separate each and every component of the mixture. And then to identify identify the type of the component in the mixture and quantify how much is the part of every component in a mixture like uh, we have 10 gram of a mixture uh, and we have uh, 2 gram component a 5 gram component b and 3 gram component c so uh, separation is basically to separate each and every component individually and then to identify. So in this mixture, we have three components A, B, C. This is the identification. And then the quantification that uh, quantity means is the name indicates the quantity of component A is 2 gram and B have 5 gram and C is a 3 gram uh, making a total of 10 gram of the mixture. So this is basically analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry is the name also uh, explains analysis to analyze something. Uh, so, so the analyze something means to identify and to separate and to quantify each and every component. This is analytical chemistry. So uh, further analytical chemistry is divided into two groups. One is quantitative analysis and the second one is a qualitative analysis. Is the name indicated quality means the composition of a something, of a component. Uh, it is the presence or absence of a particular compound but not the mass of the concentrations means uh, suppose we have uh, a mixture which have a b c components so these the identification of this compound components is called a qualitative analysis it doesn't deal with the mass means we, it doesn't deal with the how much is component a how many is b how is three uh, uh, how is c but it just concerned with the identification of the compound. So by definition, qualitative analysis do not measure uh, quantity. It just identify the each and every component. And the second is qualitative, uh, sorry, quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis is the measurement of the quantities. quantities of the particular chemical constituents presence in a substance quantities can be measured by mass or by volume two techniques either we will measure its mass present or the volume present so uh, starting from the uh, very first point uh, here uh, qualitative is the presence or absence. Presence or absence of a particular form of a 
particular component. Uh, so, qualitative is just the identification of the component and quantitative is the quantity present of the each component. Suppose in this case, from the first, A has 2 gram, B has 5 gram and C has 3 gram and 10 gram of a mixture. So, this quantification, that de de determination of the mass in a mixture and a substance, this is called a quantitative analysis. So, analytical chemistry is the identification, separation and quantifying techniques. Now, the identification is basically uh, qualitative techniques and quantitative, quantitative analysis is basically the uh, quantitative quantification of the certain components. Now, uh, further moving to the uh, techniques used to uh determine the quantity of a component in a mixture that is two types one is a volumetric analysis and the second is the gravimetric analysis gravimetric analysis it is just the determination of the amount of material present by weighing the sample before and after okay so a uh, gravimetric analysis uh, is the determination of the mass of the uh, component present in a mixture just simply by weighing like we have uh, in case of uh, total suspended analysis suspended analysis it is called tss or we have total dissolved solids okay so in this case, first we determine the initial weight, initial weight of the sample, and then filter it in case of TSS, and dry it, and then again reweight the sample. So uh, we determine the presence of suspended solid present in the sample. Uh, another common example is used in the undergraduate education is the uh, determination of the amount of water in a hydrates. Now, how we determine uh, that water present in the hydrates? That is by uh, heating the sample to remove uh, the water such that the difference in weight is due to the loss of water. So, initially, the hydrates is some water. We determine the total weight of the sample and then we heat the sample. After heating, the water will evaporate and the remaining hydrates weight will be measured. So the difference between the two, initially we have uh, hydrates plus H2O, that is weight 1, and then by heating, and then heat the sample, water will evaporate, and the leftover hydrates will be H, uh, that will be weight 2. So the difference between initial weight and the final weight will be the determination of the um, a certain component by by simple by uh, um, measuring the mass or weight of the component. So uh, gravimetric analysis have further different techniques to uh, determine the uh, quantity of the um, certain components. One is precipitation method, and second one is volatilization method. Third is electroanalytical method, and fourth one is the some their physical methods. Uh, several physical methods uh, we have uh, in our um, analytical chemistry so starting from the quantitative analysis two techniques are used to determine the quantity that is one is volumetric and the second is gravimetric gravimetric is simply that by weighing the difference between the initial weight and the final weight and there is further four types of the gravimetric analysis but we are interesting in the uh, volumetric analysis currently uh, I have some uh, lab facilities for determination of the volumetric analysis technique so in the next video I will uh, discuss uh, uh, these techniques volumetric techniques with practical uh, equipment apparatus and um, by uh, following the methods uh, each and every technique will be explained so volumetric analysis is the uh, the second type is the 
volumetric analysis as the name indicate this type of titration involves the addition of a reactants to a solution being analyzed uh, until some equivalence point is reached often the amount of material in the solution being analyzed may be determined most familiar of those who have taken uh, chemistry during uh, secondary education those students uh, are, will be familiar with the acid based titration uh, involving a color changing indicator there are many other types of titration for example potentiometric titration uh, these titration may be used uh, different types of indicator to reach some equivalence point and this technique uh, we use the volume based studies we determine the volume of the sample we take certain amount of the sample in liquid certain volume and then titrate with a certain standard solution and then uh, by reaching the end points i will uh, uh, show you in uh, next uh, video the endpoints, the indicators, the titrants, and the titrate used in these techniques. Um, however, before that, uh, I'm uh, um, explaining some basic definitions. So, uh, volumetric analysis is further of four types. However, before that, uh, I will just shortly define the term titration. Uh, titration is a a common laboratory method of quantitative chemical analysis to determine the concentration of identified analyte uh, that is the it is used for the determination of the concentration okay so this is titration the volumetric analysis is further of two types number one is acid based titration in which we use acid or a base is a triatrant, uh, and uh, the other one is a triatrate. Uh, basically, uh, in titration techniques, uh, we have a burette and a sample and a flask. The standard solution, which concentration is known that is taken in the burette which is called a titrant okay and the sample to be analyzed that is called an light or we also called it a titrate okay so basically an acid based hydration we take either acid as a standard are based in the standard uh, in the standard uh, solution is a standard solution in a burette and uh, the other one in the flask to determine so usually the concentration of this one in the burette titrant is known and the sample in the flask is taken is unknown sample of unknown concentration okay so in acid base we use either acid is a titrant are bases titrate and the other is a titrate and the second type is a redox reaction the name indicates in which uh, the ions are involved and we know that uh, plus ions are negative ions they react and form a ionic um, precipitate and the third one is a complexometric titration in which a complex is formed a color a colorful uh, complex is formed uh, and it gave the end point and the fourth one is a precipitation reaction in which a precipitate is formed a precipitate is the unsoluble component uh, i will explain these basic uh, terms like precipitate end point uh, a standard solution are uh, titrants uh, indicators we also use uh, indicators in volumetric analysis i will explain each and every indicator and where to use and how much to use and how the solution of the indicators are prepared how the concentrated concentration of the uh, titrants 
are prepared, how the solution, standard solutions are uh, uh, standardized, uh, and uh, each and every will be explained in the next upcoming video. So, uh, for practical demonstration, you need to watch uh, the next video as well. Thank you.